morning nomads we are at Lagalani very windy but it's cool typically this place will be very hot you wait not for the wind but so far so good we want to chill because we have a very long three days on the road this is our last day to relax completely Finally made it to the desert museum. As you can see, the Subaru made it. Words of advice for guys, maybe the similar model. Lift it a bit. Uh, that one inch to inch lift does a lot. Makes a makes a big difference. Yes. Then of course service. So we finally made it to the museum itself. It's locked though. So we were just trying to get the keys. But meanwhile, we're going for a swim as we wait. As you can see, the gang is already here. They're taking a swim down there. Hello. Jib, what are you making? A castle. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up to the dream. Finally done with the swimming. The museum has finally been open. I'm guessing this is the main entrance. Essentially just highlighting to guys like what Northern Kenya is about. Finally back from the desert museum, we've had a good time. Then we come back, maybe uh, grab some lunch. We'll be heading back there for the golden hour. Electrocana is known for the for its sunset. I'm here with the engineer himself. Yes, I'm engineer Daniel Obiambo, civil engineer by profession. But you're a nomad today. I'm a nomad today. Yeah. I love traveling, especially over landing and all that. This is my daughter. She, she also likes traveling a lot. Uh -huh. it's yes, fun. yes, yes. So and fun. you also make a lot of new friends. You made a lot of friends? Yes. Okay, that's good. Too. Yes, yes. Maybe you can tell us which uh, car you're driving? This is the original Discovery 3. 2005 the original one uh -huh. then you see this one now is the the four yes. this is basically the three uh -huh. which I've, I've i've done a lot of updates to it these are the before lights these are the spotlights this is the maximum size that the discovery can have that two inch uh, i have the 20 inch uh, rims and then to get this 32 inch to fit you must have a 20 25 inch lift the engine is the TDB6, the original, I haven't done anything on it. I have a tank, pressurized tank. It can carry 40 liters. 40 liters of water. So this we use for shower or cleaning if you want. So I have the Iron Man only. It's it's right. just the normal Discovery. What I love about Discovery 3 is, is, is this. Discovery 4, they changed. See how the seats are. And now look at the Discovery 4. You see how the seats are. That's how we differentiate. That is my friend. He's also a disco fanatic. 
Hi. I'm all right. How are you doing? Oh, something else I updated is the rear window storage. This now I can tie my traction boards. The other side carries a 10 liter water tank. I also updated this spare wheel carrier to help me carry my extra fuel. Uh, how much fuel do you have extra? This is uh, 60 liter. Okay, your fuel tank? For my fuel tank is 80. It takes me like 600 kilometer on full tank. It's pretty good when it comes to consumption. It depends how you drive. You know me, I'm a heavy footer. <laughs> <laughs> it has taken me more than five years. Just to build uh, it to up. Get here, yes. Yeah. The best process to do is just baby steps. Yeah. Do one thing, test, do another thing, test. Okay, enjoy the rest of your afternoon and evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, Nomads. <laughs> First time up this way. Friends checking the views, the scenery. It's just definitely, this is a trip that anyone should take. You got me, baby, I got your back Looking at you, thinking about All of the ways that you know me I can't get enough We got the future burning the past Good and the bad, making it last We are what I want and I want what I already got When you come through the Uh, morning guys, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. We're just about to step out in the next minute or so to Mako Bifora. Roughly 200, 230 kilometers ahead. That's why we are starting early. Yesterday was our last rest day. For the remaining of the days, we'll just be arriving at camp, setting up, enjoying whatever remains of the day. Then the following day, we proceed to the next stop. So hope you guys have enjoyed so far. So stay tuned for more. Look at that sunrise, man. Amazing, you know, amazing, amazing. Shows of the lake. This is the last place we're going to see the lake up close until you reach Kobifora. Take in the views before we proceed. So essentially, this is it. This is the lineup. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the moon and its darker side. I can feel the gravity. The forces pull between you and me Yes, it's true, I'm falling hard for you But I won't rush this love I 
can wait even if it's hard to take One moment is enough I will be standing here right by your side I will be standing here to the end of time I will be standing here to the end of time It has become loose we have opted to have the uh, Land Cruiser just uh, go back to Loyangalani since it's not far back go back to Loyangalani, have the issue uh, fixed because it's not something we can easily solve where we are headed to Kobifora so since Loyangalani is very near, it's very very close uh, it will be best that he gets there, have it fixed then he can catch up with us uh, on the way we'll just give him direction so that he can get here without any issues The right, Peter and Ambele. If you just see a turn hivi, shuka, tutapata mawe tumepanga hivi kama kama mtu wa sifa melazwa. Kutaeka in such a way mtu hata chokora ama hata nini. Then ukishachukua your left, hata ukikuja upate njia nyingine inaenda right or left, no straight on. Straight on. There's another issue. There's another issue. Oh, which car? The green one. So we had an issue with one of the Range Rovers. The power steering uh, had broken, so it had to be fixed. We've just done that. They want to try and test it and see if they can do like a few kilometers without any issues. If there's any major challenge, then uh, they'd have to turn back and go to the nearest town, which is Loyangalani.
the map to our usual old homes. We are on the plains, the desert area around Moite. We are proceeding towards the uh, Simuloi National Park with the other nomads. We are doing well, but uh, we have had some car issues. Four nomads have proceeded to Kalacha, where we will hook up with them tomorrow as they fix one of the cars. And then there's another nomad who went back to Loengelani to fix brake issue. These roads are not kind to our cars. They need total preparation. It's not easy coming here. You need to also factor in that you will be delayed because of uh, such issues. Ketchup. Huh? Is it for the ball? Most Hey, but that's fun. Oh. Technical driving. Hey, you play with it, it takes you off. Pilot, you're good? Easy, easy, easy. What's so, up? Need to go full out. Make catch up a rack. You saw the signs? Yeah. All good now? All good, okay. How long did it take you? Like 40 minutes. Come and pay homage. A big up ghost. The car was called Ghost. As you can see down here, there's still evidence of the of the shattered glass.
finally made it to Sibiloi National Park. We are here, Tupo site, Tupo site, Tupo site. Bangin. Morning. Yeah, those were trees once upon a time. All these. Responsible parents. Wababa. Baba. Wala Baba memkisha watoto. We're making us look bad. Ah, yeah. Feel bad. <laughs> We finally made it to go before it's 7 p.m. Just want to settle into the night, then figure it out from there. 